this is like a Snickers bar for plants. And so as the roots go down, they see that there's a big block of minerals right here. So of course they go straight to the bone and straight for the minerals that are in the ground. This is going to be a, a triceratops scapula, I believe. The end was weathered off once again. You're down to the grass, it was all broken up here. But once you get back in, the bone's a lot better shape. And when you were digging on that, you found this is going to be a piece of a big crocodile skull. This is the this is the super croc of the Cretaceous here that's in the Hell Creek. This is going to be a big crocodile that was eaten on these dinosaurs. But you can see where the hillside, this was the natural slope of the hillside, and the bone was sticking out here and totally got weathered away. But look how good the bone quality gets the deeper in you go. But look at the roots. The roots are growing right in the middle of this bone. Why are the roots growing straight through this bone? Well, I mean, they're looking for the nutrients. They're looking for minerals. They're looking for anything they can. I mean, this pretty poor clay soil out here, and these bones still have enough nutrient in them that there's phosphorus, potassium, something in there that them plants are really wanting, and they just tear into them. And just tear them apart. Chasing History is brought to you by the Smoky Mountain Relic Room. We have the largest diversity of history for sale anywhere in North America. If you want to collect this history, you can. We have actual fossils and minerals that we go out and collect ourselves available at the link in the description below.